So the condo collapse caught on video, Mystery Babylon members getting free real estate. If anybody was in there that actually uh, passed on, they weren't members of Mystery Babylon and they're just called collateral damage. But the fact that most people... <laughs> Anyway, um, they both occurred in the middle of the night at 1 a.m., 128, Surfside, uh, 122. So Mystery Babylon likes to do their things in the dark, don't they? There's a an AI-generated... So most of your movies are AI-generated for directors to see through computer animation how to shoot the movie... The AI writes the the script, all the words of the movie. So they're the writers, they're the directors of the movies. And you just have front men, like Steve Jobs was a front man, who give you a face. And they, and they try to act like they're these deep, intelligent people. Uh, they're idiots just like everybody else, of course. But this is an AI-generated YouTube site that then breaks movies down and shows you the um, the cryptic stuff in the movie that the AI has put in the movie. So it's like they're showing they they make the movie and then they break it down for you. The AI does both, which is ironic but it's also how the bible works so the holy spirit writes the script and then the holy S spirit then deciphers the script and shows people shows sheep excuse me how it actually how the bible actually works because it's a hidden parable so again their their world is an upside down version of our world um, but yeah, one occurred at 122 a.m. The condo collapse, the bridge was 128 a.m. So they were literally six minutes apart. They were both caught on film from a distance, all the world's a stage. And uh the fact that it's Francis Scott Key who wrote the Star Spangled Banner, which was at the beginning of the Bain speech. Um when you key in Bane's speech, uh, Dark Knight, he starts off and he says, uh, what a, what a, such a lovely, lovely voice or something like that. I think he says it here. So we'll crank up the volume. By the way, with my sound, I need to live performance audio recommended for multiple instruments, original sound from you. This thing gives me, it says background noise removal. That's why nobody can hear the music. Like it's always muffled in the background whenever um, I came on, I like to have music <laughs> interludes and nobody could hear it. And uh, it was kind of funny. But um, hang on just a second. So background noise suppression. And so y'all can't hear what's on in the background, I don't think. Original sound for musicians. Live performance. Automatically joined by audio computer when joining. Press and hold space key. Let me read this. Well, I hit a button that says hi. So let me see Billy. if now the music was able to come in. I don't know. So I don't, I want y'all to be able to hear when I do. 
That's a lovely, lovely voice. That's a lovely, lovely voice. And it's the Star Spangled Banner written by Francis Scott Key. So this is right before the 86 or the assassination. Yeah, he's number 86 running the football. And so how close are we? You know what I mean? To the big event. So this Donovan's Echo, by the way, I would like to look at that before I show you all something very interesting about I Pet Goat and the flower full moon. The fact that it's 333 days from um, April 2nd, which is also, that's right, that's where Trump will be. He'll be at the 333 Main Street address, and it's 333 days from the flower full moon. So we're going to definitely show you that. But this whole Donovan's echo that the AI site is telling you. Let's run the dates of the release to Donovan's echo to March 26th. Uh, the date of this event. So Donovan's echo was September 18th, 2011. That was a premiere. That's also a, I think that's the partial lunar eclipse time frame. The next one, four, five, seven, three, one, two, six, eight, six, five, three weeks. Let's look at the other date, February 22nd. So 222 code of 2012. So it's 2012. It is 222. February 22nd, that's 4416 days, 121 Antichrist, fused with 214. There you go. Something we look at all the time, the 1214, which is the midpoint of the total solar eclipse, was on 1214, 1214. It's a fusion of 121 Antichrist with the 214th verse of Revelation, which is Revelation 13.3, the first time deadly wound is mentioned, deadly wound, but did live. It always, every time it mentions deadly wound, it then goes to that then did live. So we look at the Trump rally. And it is at the 333 address. April 2nd. So now he has two speeches on April 2nd. Devo's Palace Convention Center. That's at 2.30. The other one's at 6. Let's look at both. And that's at 3.03. So the, the one address is 3.03. The other address is 3.33. So they're really trying to make you think you have found your date. But, you yeah, know. They're always messing around, aren't they? Because they could see the future. Fallen angels can. They always knew we would be doing this. So they lay out the breadcrumbs. So there's the Hyatt Regency and the, its address is 333. Very interesting. So we've already done that one. Let's do the other one, 303 times 49503. Can't remember one thing to the next. 49503. So it's one four nine 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 four oh nine. Okay. Well, we did the math right. So now let's look at both places combined three oh three 
four, nine, five, oh, three times three, three, three. I think it's five, four, three, oh, one. If not mistaken, yeah, five, four, three, oh, one. Multiply them both out. Now that's the time of the condo collapse with the 86. Got 322 right in the middle, doesn't it? Is that directly in the middle? That's directly in the middle. Seven, three, two, two. All right. So again, we had a single digit followed by a zero. So I multiplied it by GOD, something I've done for decades. So lastly, we're going to look at IPET GOAT. And we're going to show. Hang on. So when you watch IPEC GOAT, um, by the way, let me put on the sound. Y'all can't see it when it pops on the screen, but I want to see what what's when I play what sounds like here. Hold on. Yes. The video for Sweet Emotion. I want to see if that picked up, and then let's see how good this picks up. It seemed to pick up. It has volume levels, like it shows me where it's at. Okay. So the first thing you see in IPEC Goat, light in sky, which represents moon. What is the moon in? It is in Capricorn, which sign is the sea goat. And we do have a Capricorn moon. On this April 2nd, Trump double speech day. Are they both in Green Bay? Grand Rapids, Michigan. And then he's in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Green Bay with a big G. So April 2nd is, the moon is in the goat sign all day. And his rising day, it is in, a, is in Aquarius all day. Like we showed you the splish splash when he's being birthed out of the canal or his rising Aquarius, the water bearer. The water breaks, he's birthed. Now, the biggest, the time that that falls into a full moon at his rising is the Aquarius, the full moon in Aquarius at 225. He would rise on that full moon. Spiritually, the abyss is opened at the North Pole. Remember, when he comes out of there, it's surrounded by ice. It's a spiritual, the abyss will be opened as far as the evil on the earth will, um, the fallen angels will have a lot more dominion, which probably means the AI and the ghost of the machine will. He would go down on August 17th, moon in Capricorn, he would go down on that goat moon. Now it changes to Aquarius at 545. So his fake death or body double death would be before 545 Eastern, Eastern uh, daylight time when the moon is in Capricorn and then he would rise with the Aquarius and that's a full moon. So all Capricorn moons need to be looked at. But two days before all full moons need to be looked at. 
both based off IPEC GOAT. The only time both of those happen is August 17th after your Republican convention ritual, followed by the Olympic rituals, opening and closing ceremony rituals, and anything else they have that takes place in them. And then remember the opening ceremonies are on 726, which is Antichrist in English Gematria, which is simple Gematria times six, where A is six, B is 12, C is 18. So that's Antichrist 726 when the opening ceremonies are. The closing ceremonies are on 811, the last day of the dog days of summer. Eight times 11 is 88. And then it would just be on the 17th, just six days later or five days after Sirius rises. But seven days after Sirius rises, the book would be opened on August 19th. So that's a very high watch time frame. But we are close to this total solar. So we need to be looking at this time frame also. And... So I pet goat. We want to show you one more time, as we've shown you many times. That is 2023, because you see the August. They're all represent moons. It is the year of the rabbit. You see the rabbit in the background. Let's slow the video down. And she's sitting inside of a corona, which is the outer ring of a total solar eclipse or ring of fire, annular or total. But in this particular case, it was a total solar eclipse on April 20th. And it's year of the rabbit. And so you see over Trump's head here with his upside down pyramid, uh, you see exit and you see year of the rabbit. And you see the total solar eclipse. And then what rolls from it is, now we can speed it up. So let's speed it up. And what pops is the flower full moon. Dia de los Muertos, looking at the Mayflower is what Wednesday did in the TV show. That May flower is a popping off point for Day of the Dead. Again, these all represent, these are 12 moons. But wait, you have two in August. So where's the 13th moon? Well, that's what the May, the May full moon. It's called the flower full moon. That popped off May 5th. The total solar is 15 days previous. Usually it's 14 days or 15 days from the new moon to the full moon. All total solars are new moons. So she's holding in her hand the 13th. There were 13 full moons in 2023. You see the two heads joined here. That's August Year of the Rabbit in the background over her head. So it's Year of the Rabbit exit. The key is in this flower full moon. So now we look at that flower full moon. And it was on May 5th. And we're going to run it to April 2nd where he is at the 333 address, and it's 333 days. It's 10 months, 28 days. We know 1028 code is Gateway Arch. Bill Gates' birthday, October 28th. The Gateway Arch was opened in St. Louis on October 28th. Bill Gates' Gateway Arch. So then again, he is... Um, 
would rise on 404, the amount of verses in the book of Revelation. He would rise on the third day, Aquarian moon. And it's the exact number of days after the partial lunar eclipse as November 5th, when Marty knocked down the Twin Pines on the 86th day of April 2nd. And then, of course, the reason why Marty knocked down the Twin Pines on November 5th, remember, remember the 5th of November from B for Vendetta. It's because you rise on the third day. It's November 7th, which is 11-7, which is the Bible verse, Revelation 11-7, the beast rising from the pit, which is the same amount of days, November 7th, after the October 28th. Again, October 28th right here, the date of the partial lunar eclipse, which transfer portaled over to March 25th, the other partial lunar eclipse. So they're married to each other. When you go to our transfer portal of time, which is when they had the national championship game on January, which is was the exact overlay of the Donnie Darko month, Janus Tenet, Janus month sees forwards and backwards. The movie Tenet by Christopher Nolan is 10 backwards and forwards, T-E-N-E-T. -E -E and it was on October 10th, which remember, this that January of 2022 is the exact overlay day by day, uh, number by number of October 1988. And it was on October 10th, which matches, this, which is then this January 10th, when Donnie talked with his teacher, Donnie Darko, about portals, transfer portals. And the Dr. Pepper transfer portal commercial was really big at this national championship football game date, which also was the transfer portal of time date. And when we run, how many days is it to, I've already forgotten, how many days to March 25th? Was it 8.05 days? So there's plus 8.05 days lands on March 25th, 2024, a partial lunar eclipse. Now let's subtract it. And it lands on October 28th, 2019. So you see the October 28th to March 25th. These two dates bounce off each other on the transfer portal. And this past October 28th was a partial lunar eclipse. And then this past March 25th was also a partial lunar eclipse. So the amount of days after each lands on November 5th. Marty knocking down the Twin Pines. Remember, remember the 5th of November, rising on November 7th. So then if you look at the amount of days that is October 28th, 2023, I believe it was eight days. Yeah. So eight days after both partial lunar eclipses, Eight days afterwards is November 5th. Eight days after is this 333 address, 333 days after the May uh, full moon, the May flower full moon. And then 10 days after each would be the rising. 10 days after lands on November 7th, 11-7, Revelation 11-7, the beast rising. 10 days after the other partial lunar eclipse that it transfer portals over to March 25th is April 4th, which can be written 404, which it then in turns is the amount of verses in the book of Revelation 404, because when he rises, that's his crowning. That's when the book is officially opened. So it's all very interesting, isn't it? All right, love y'all.